Good morning, everyone. This is Pavan. I work at Ship Console. We are UPS Ready Partner. Today, we are going to see Ship Exec demo for NetSuite. Let's get started. This is the main screen of Ship Exec SaaS application. Users can do different tasks based on their role. And this is one screen that shippers are going to use, whether it's any parcel, any LTL, it's just one screen for all their shipping needs. Ship exec, ship console is tightly integrated with NetSuite. It's a multi-carrier shipping software. Uh, we have logged into NetSuite. We can see a list of fulfillment orders. We'll do an example of a domestic shipment. We'll take a sample order, which is in picked status. This is ready to be shipped. So we'll take the fulfillment ID from here. So shipper can scan the fulfillment ID into ship console from the pick ticket. So once they scan the pick ticket, everything comes straight from NetSuite into ship console. You can see ship from ship to ship method on the bottom left delivery lines. And on the right side, the package details, weights and dimensions can be pulled from NetSuite. It also supports variety of weight scales. So weight can be read from the scale as well. All user has to do is click on pack. So this prints the shipping labels. We get the label number and the shipping costs from carrier. All this is happening in real time. So we got the label number, freight charges, prints the shipping labels. We can view the label on the browser. So these are carrier compliant labels. We can go back to NetSuite to see the data updated back automatically. So we'll do a quick refresh. You can see the picked status changed to packed. The shipping cost is recorded back. The tracking number is passed back to NetSuite. All happening right from ship console. Shippers doesn't have to go back to NetSuite to enter all these details. So at this point of time, we can close the shipment in NetSuite. Our users can do the closeout in a batch mode, end of the day. So for this example, we'll click on ship. So this fulfillment ID gets shipped in NetSuite. So the transaction gets completed in NetSuite. So we'll go back to NetSuite. So for this order, do a quick refresh, changes from packed to ship. So this is a quick example of uh, domestic shipment. Now we will look at example of LTL shipment. So we've pulled all the shipment details using the fulfillment ID from NetSuite into Ship Console. So everything comes from NetSuite into Ship Console automatically. So on the bottom right, you can see the weight, the package details, the weights and dimensions. You can add additional pallets if you'd like. So like uh, we did domestic shipment, we'll click on pack. So this prints the shipping labels. It also generates the bill of lading document. So it passes the required codes, freight class, and generates all the LTL related documentation. So we can look at shipping label. You can also view the bill of lading document.
Now we'll see how to ship an international order. So we'll take a sample international order. So this is in picked status and ready to be shipped. In our integration with NetSuite, you can see ship console tab, right? Uh, in NetSuite, where you can configure additional functionality like email notifications, third party billing, the whole international uh, details. So, uh, so that you know it enables users to print all the documents automatically. So, we'll see how to process this order using Ship Console. Take the fulfillment ID, scan the order in Ship Console. So everything comes straight from NetSuite into Ship Console. So there is no manual data needs to be entered. This is UPS Worldwide Expedited. So on the bottom, we can see delivery lines. The weight is defaulted from NetSuite. So when we go to international shipment, this contains all the commodity details and we can directly click on pack here. So this prints the shipping labels as well as all the customs documents. We get the label number and freight charges straight from the carrier systems. So we can see it packed successfully and printed the shipping labels. So we got the label number and free charges. Now I'll open the international shipment page. So this, you can see all the documents on the browser, but the documents would have been printed to the printer already. So you can see the commercial invoice, certificate of origin, and any other documents that you would like to configure, we can, we can support them. So we'll go back to NetSuite, refresh the order. You can see it changes the status from picked to packed. The shipping cost is recorded back. Tracking number is passed back to NetSuite. Ship Console gives you complete visibility into shipping data. Here are some operational reports. We also have dashboards, transportation spend. Dashboard gives you details about spend for each carrier. You can look through a date range. You can export to Excel, drill down to see service levels used within each carrier, and also drill down to see more details. So we have seen how shippers can use one software to do multi-carrier shipping. We covered domestic, we covered international LTL reports and dashboards. Apart from what you have seen, Ship Console can also handle much complex scenarios like serial number, hazmat, integration with ACE, and any more. Please reach out to us for a detailed demo.